name's Steve Byrne, I'm the GSPC manager and I run the animal shelter here in St Andrews. At the GSPCA we've been helping animals uh, for over 143 years in Guernsey, uh, from wildlife to domestic. Uh, we have in excess of 3,000 animals through the doors every year and at the current time we've got over 300 in our care. Working 24 hours, 7 days a week, it costs in excess of £1,600 a day to run the shelter uh, and it's a continual battle to raise those funds, to care for those animals uh, and to achieve so much in helping animals here in Guernsey. The Coab Eco Fund has been very generous in awarding us uh, £2,000 towards the wonderful project, much of which uh, has been spent in enabling us with this project behind me uh, to help the benefit of animals and wildlife here in St Andrews uh, and to help the many that are released back into the wilds from the animal shelter here at the GSPCA. So we've got many uh, resident ducks and some migrant ducks have decided to become residents for short periods through the year so they're already using the deep part of the pond. The shallow area we will be fencing off so that uh, we can use it for a pond dipping area so that the ducks aren't disturbing the, the wildlife and the insects that will hopefully establish there very quickly once it gets planted in the springtime. Um, and then we've got a bit of a stream which then again adds that biodiverse area something a bit different for other uh, insects and creatures that would prefer a, a running flow of water all of which comes from an underground spring here at the GSPCA. From the GSPCA we'd like to say a huge thank you to the co-op and everybody involved because without these sorts of projects being done uh, then the wildlife of Guernsey would suffer and there wouldn't be uh, these sorts of projects going on that will help both the animals for the future but also the next generation that are going to be able to come and utilise this both to see what and how we can help animals here in Guernsey but also learn from it as an educational resource. We are looking to have an official opening uh, once everything's established and looking nice and pretty and there's a little less mud and we're very excited to invite the co-op and everybody involved uh, that's helped us achieve this, especially St Andrew's Floral Group who've uh, done so much to uh, enable so many conservation projects we've got ongoing. Um, we're excited to, for the future because there's a lot more about to happen uh, that we'll be letting everybody know very soon.